Today on The Tappy Show, Vivek goes viral at AmeriFest, DeSantis claims Trump may pick Nikki Haley for VP, and DeSantis actually gets the most positive responses he's ever gotten on Twitter in probably years. Bud Light POV tweet is ratioed, getting only 120 likes. SpaceX to start mobile testing. Costco sold about $100 million in gold last quarter. And Quaker Tree Bars are being recalled due to potential contamination. All of that and much, much more on The Topping Show. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added research and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, I see their founder released twice today. Gotta say he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, you see, that's a joke. If you're an IT there or a business owner, you can reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of December, so if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, going over to the business part of the podcast, you have SpaceX to start mobile testing. Now, SpaceX is one of Elon's myriad of companies that he's founded throughout the years, and perhaps being one of the most revolutionary ones, giving reliable, well, debatable reliability, depending on who you talk to, but satellite interconnection wherever you need it. So it's great. I actually had a couple of friends who used that at the last track day where we go into the middle of nowhere where you have all these fun little tracks you can race across. But there's not a traditional, you know, there's no Google Fiber out there. Let's just say that much. Well, Google also killed that product as they do many products throughout the years. But nevertheless, long story short, there's very not so great reception out, options out there. So a lot of people will bring their RVs. They'll actually bring the little SpaceX, little Starlink, little satellite thing with Jiggies, which is probably the max. Probably a marketing fail that Elon hasn't had a really cool revolutionary sticky name that makes you remember in your head. But the way I described it is just as accurate. Now, recently, FCC has cleared SpaceX for the mobile test. Now, this will test how a Starlink satellite communications with cell phones in the U.S. The Federal Communications Commission granted Elon Musk owned company request to partner with T-Mobile for a six-month trial, which will involve about 840 satellites and 2,000 testing devices in about two dozen locations. Cell carriers are easier to start the era of satellite-enabled service because it would be as a boon to users in remote areas without cell towers. But companies like AT&T, Dish Network, and Globesart have raised worries about how it could quote-unquote disrupt their services. AKA, also known as how to put them out of service and out of business. Now, this is coming to Bobby Armstrong, who's the editor over at LinkedIn News. And they also know that SpaceX would launch its first direct to sell satellites Saturday. And the approval came two days after the FCC affirmed its 2022 decision to deny Starlink almost $900 million in rural broadband subsidies, which is pretty crazy. Every other company can apply for that and get that, but they can't. It's almost as if if the government has favorites and likes to deny some. Oh, who am I kidding? That can't be true, could it? Well, wait. Yes, absolutely. It can be, of course. I'd be interested to see, because again, it used to be, if you're on a satellite phone, which is, I mean, back in my day, it used to be the OG technology that only a few people would ever fathom getting. Famously shown in Jurassic Park 2, 3, or 4. I forget which number it is. They're on these days. But a pinnacle point in the movie was someone had a satellite phone. It was magical to the average user, because you can use it in the middle of nowhere, because again, the way you and I, most of our cell phones, we rely on a infrastructure of cell towers, which are actually, interestingly enough, owned by a third party, not by the AT&T and Verizon's. They actually bid and basically rent out portions of usage on those towers. So it'll be interesting to see how this progresses, but it very well could be revolutionary. And I mean, it would be a shame if we actually, you know, put a couple of those old old little legacy providers out of business with a new awesome solution to actually provide exceptional service. Now, I guess a million dollar question or multi-billion dollar question is what would the price point be to the end user? But it'll be fascinating to see how Elon continues to make a dent in the universe, as cliche as that might sound. Thank you everyone again for taking the time to tune in today. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of December. So if you click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback on how I can make the show better. I am trying to enunciate more and slow down my rate of speech. However, it is a long-term thing I'm trying to fix. So I appreciate your patience. But... The more you call out, the more I'll put focus on it. And I appreciate the feedback as we try to make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.